Jimmy and I are back on the island and about to do one of our favorite types of reviews. We took a poll with the locals on what was the best seafood in Port Aransas. And by a landslide, Black Marlin won. And it's no wonder, with Chef Gale, who is an award-winning ex Le Cordon Bleu instructor, featured on TV a few times, running the kitchen, I think we are in for a pretty good night. Let's get after it. That's a fat double. <laughs> So we have a smoked redfish dip, which is an appetizer. This looks phenomenal. I love redfish. All right, James, you're up. You're going first. Hell yeah. I guess I gotta do a cracker. Let's do it. It's a little hot. Is it good? It sounded amazing. What are the flavor profiles? <laughs> All right, let's search your thing, babe. Okay, here we go. So let's try this bad boy out. Jimmy seemed to imply the fact that it's very, very hot. So I'm gonna try to hold on for a second. Here's the pickups from this. Very strong smoky flavor, really amazing. There's a creamy cheese in here. And then you can taste the fish just a little bit. And I love that they did the green onions on top. It's fantastic. The seafood sampler just came in. This is what we're working with. We've got calamari, shrimp. Uh, these looks like scallops. Dude, this looks fire. I think we should definitely squeeze the lemons over ahead of time. Let's go. restaurant based on the calamari. That's the thing for me. If you can't do calamari, you can't do it because it's a very difficult cook to be honest with you. It's very easy to go over. So we're going to try this bad boy out. Wow. Okay. All right, hear me out. So I love Virginia's calamari because it's so thick. But this is one of the best seasoned calamaris, breaded calamaris I've had in half minute. That is very solid. That is very good. Arguably seasoned better than Virginia's. The only regret I have is I love how thick theirs is, but I mean, nobody has that with them. So I'm a happy camper with this. What is that? Oh, it's a crab cake. It's a crab cake. I totally forgot what was on there. <laughs> I haven't been here before. It's 
it's really good, but when I was expecting a scallop, it's a crab cake, it's all good. How is the crab cake? It's good. Okay, let's look at this. I want to kind of look at it. It looks good. Go. These shrimp are so good. Is that not incredible? It's like perfectly cooked. I mean, there's like no improvement on that cook. It is like just done. Yeah, it's super good. It's That's an incredible cook. They knew their seafood. This is as much dust as we can do and not die before eating entrees. So that's where we're at. <laughs> so is this hamburger, hamburger soup? <laughs> is this Caesar salad? We've had a double of tequila and we're not doing well, so. <laughs> Dude, I don't know about this hamburger soup. I don't you know. She like, said it was really good, though. I wanted a Caesar salad. You were like, let's try it. Like, let's try it. I'll split my Caesar salad with you. Don't worry about it. This is Jimmy on the hamburger soup. We have Chef Gail next to us. It does taste like a cheeseburger. It tastes like a cheeseburger. <laughs> it tastes like it's a straight-up cheeseburger. Like. Is it solid? It's good. It's really good. <laughs> so I'm going to try a Caesar salad next. Bam. It's beautiful. I'm currently videoing... Chef Gale. Go. It's Chef Gale videoing. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Gale's in charge of the video for tonight. And we're going to try out her Caesar salad for the first time. She did mention while we were cooking is that most of the chefs here are <coughs> trained by Le Cordon Bleu, which is, in my opinion, one of the best uh, culinary schools you can come across. So we are excited to be here. That dressing is insane. Only to try the tamarind mango. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> At the Black Marlin. Yeah. Because I want to be here. And they haven't even opened the doors yet. Yeah. So I started out as, as a server and bartender. Within a couple of days, they promoted me to bar manager because I know a lot about cocktails. <laughs> it's a, like 50 years of experience in drinking. <laughs> We like to drink. Right. I am, I am an expert eater and I'm an expert drinker. So I just apply that as a chef and a bartender and make things the way I would want them. That's that awesome. makes and, and part of that has a lot to do with also the service and the atmosphere and the ambiance and how people want to be cared for. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A lot of people are tired of being treated like a number. Yeah. So usually when I greet people, obviously, I mean, you may have seen me walking around hugging people and stuff, talking people outside, talking people inside. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is my home. Yeah. And it's been That's my awesome. home for eight years. So I greet people and I say welcome. That's awesome. It's the first time or their 50th time or their 500th time. So. That is awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. This looks incredible. So this is the black and tuna. Um, Tacos it looks absolutely incredible. We're about to try it for the first Dude, time. Looks amazing. This was the black and red fish. Yep. Yeah. So you have sauteed vegetables in. and cheesy grits and a um, Creole cream sauce that has crawfish and shrimp and andouille and corn, and then you have the black and red fish on top. I absolutely boom. love crawfish. I cannot boom. wait to try yeah, that. <laughs> okay, so right, first we'll up, here. we're gonna try the tamarind mango dressing for the first time. I just want to try it by itself. Chef recommended. It's got a really nice vinegar flavor to it. I taste the mango, but it almost tastes like a mustard. That is extremely good. Is it good? That's really good. That's really good. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah, put it on here. Yeah, a little bit on there. Let's go. There you go. We're like really obsessed with sauces, so that's a thing. So okay. are we. I'm gonna put a little. <laughs> yeah, we're big sauce people. <laughs> and spicy. I like spicy too. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. We're gonna go taco for the first time. Black and tuna, which was recommended by our waiter as one of the best choices for the tacos. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, 
there's been a really amazing assortment of flavors throughout the taco. The tuna is cooked amazingly. Definitely not overdone. It is incredible. And seriously, I feel like a staple for that taco is the sauce. Like it adds so much to it. I see why theirs is called like their signature tacos. It's incredible. So you tried it just with the apple jicama slaw, and then we have the pickled onions. So the next one try with pickled onion, and then we okay. have our. Um, I put some of that on. Mango, and I put mango some of that. Okay. Yeah. So you got some mango there. You got some mango there, and then you have the mango in, in the yeah. sauce. And so. But it's it like the mango is so subtle. Yeah. Yeah. But it but brings the sweetness to yes. it that, that like balances out with the heat, and then you've got mm -hmm. the spicy chipotle aioli on there as mm -hmm. well. Enjoy the rest of your meal, my love. Still. Thank you. Oh. See what's going on here. All right. Let's get a good bite of this. Hold up. I gotta get a good proper bite. I told somebody about this place, and I said, "Wow, that was amazing." It's got a really nice spice to it. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Thanks so much. The fish is good. Enjoy your breakfast. That's something I appreciate about this too. Is the very pleasant spice. It's got a nice, beautiful Man, spice. I really appreciate how well they cook the fish. Fish is not easy. It's one of the hardest meats to cook properly. It dries so out quick. It does. Mm. Thank you, Chef Gail. What an incredible experience. <laughs> All right, I am going to take a little piece out of this beautiful red fish. Oh my gosh, this looks incredible. Okay, beautiful grits, perfectly done. Red fish cooked perfectly, and I mean, Perfectly. There's literally no room for improvement. The crawfish, it's got like just a kick of like kind of Louisiana sort of style. Incredible. This is why this restaurant was labeled number one seafood on Port A. If you haven't been here, you have to come here. Hospitality is amazing. And the hospitality is always a kicker. Gail is incredible and she's done an amazing job with her team and honestly it's just it's good to be here tonight guys. Why is it green? So that was our first experience at Black Marlin. They were rated by the locals by a landslide for the best seafood in the area. Not only was Gail friendly, but this is unbiased opinion. Aside from that, that was the best seafood we've had on the island ever, and we've had quite a lot. I was so impressed with everything they did. I was so impressed with all the flavor profiles. Gail did an incredible job with her team. Uh, which were apparently trained mostly by Le Cordon Bleu, which is honestly one of my favorite culinary schools. So very, very good seafood. Highly recommend. If you're in the area, you have to try it out. Yeah, Gail is a very knowledgeable shelf. Shelf? Wow. <laughs> She's a very knowledgeable shelf. She's a very knowledgeable shelf. I mean, out of all She's the shelves, <laughs> she's the knowledgeablest. She's a very knowledgeable chef. And I really admire her passion for food. It was an incredible experience. I'm so glad we went. 